So now we're at the mine. Uh, I'm going to walk up here to see what we can see. I see tailings off the bat up here on top. I don't see a porthole. I am out of breath. Down below there you can see the cabins and stuff we just looked at. Somebody's got a bunch of rocks stacked up here. And it doesn't go anywhere. Well, it does. Looks like it does. There's a tiny hole. I'm going to come around this other side, I think. Looks like these were just prospect holes. Because you can see there's not much tailings. This has got a little bit more tailings on it. Okay, now that one goes down in. So, oops, there we go.
right. We'll walk around here some more. Let's see what else we can find. I doubt this goes very far because the tailing pile is not very big. Even if I could get down in there safely. Let's see what's around the corner here. Prospect, or it caved in, but I'm guessing prospect. Let's look around the corner here of it, though. No, nothing there. I don't even see. Well, maybe I do see a vein that they're after. much of anything this and maybe scragglers nah not really Here we go. We got a hole going down in here. Let's see if I can get you down in there. Let's see. So I'm too fat to fit in there. I can make myself a bit. No, I'm not gonna do it. <sighs> you can see some quartz in that, but that's just a wriggly, scraggly vein. Looks like it fall down, maybe. And maybe that's what they were chasing after. See how they work this in levels. <clears throat> kind of like round and round it. We got another something down there. We're gonna check that out. Explore this lower, higher shelf here, and then we'll drop down and look at the uh, lower shelves.
No, I'm not going that way. Let's see, we'll go back. Too steep and snowy. here. You even got timber. I don't know if that was just a tree or it had something set there. All right. That one drops way down. See if we can do the rock test. See if we can hear the rock land, okay? Not too far. Do it again. Nope. Probably about 10 foot deep. Thank you guys over the side. Okay. Don't know if there's crossways in there or not. Might be. Hard to say. But looking at this mountain from the distance, you'd never know this was here at all. It's that hidden. So, pretty crazy. That's definitely pretty cool. That's kind of the deal with these New Mexico mines. They're everywhere, but you really can't see them because they're hidden behind scrub brush and all kinds of things. So. Looks like it wasn't really substantial so far what I'm seeing and I can get when I look this up uh, what it was. <laughs> So we got another shaft here. 
here. Uh, it looks like they probed it and that was about it. Okay, we got some cool stuff over here. Now, a piece of cable right there. So, means there's probably a winch or something. And then we got a head frame. What's left of one? Right there. So, it's still got the collar. And she goes down and looks maybe like uh, yeah there's a croc section down there you can see it, it goes directly uh, behind uh, that timber down there and yeah very cool So, they've mined us, they punched some holes in here. Um, there's some waste rock, but not as much as you expect for what I would think a big operation. But a uh, nice little mainframe stone, or a uh, collar on the mine, yet. And uh, sadly, uh, the. Uh, Head frame is falling down, but uh, that is the head frame right there. I didn't see if there was any pulleys or anything on it. <clears throat> and uh, you can see it square bolts. Pretty cool. This is for, this is this is a well worth trip, man. Pretty cool. It's uh, so you, you usually have to hike a long distance to get to anything in New Mexico, and this one had a cool little homestead or maybe a little town. Don't know any information about that part of it, and I'm not gonna give out the name of the mine or where it's at because if kids are watching, <clears throat> they could fall into one of those, and you've seen how deep that is it's deep enough that you could break a leg you know, I mean you could get killed so <clears throat> I'm really careful when I go out to these places uh, you can see some old lumber here from something but that I would almost say there's a lower lower level yet that they went in uh, boy, it'd be awesome if there was, that's for sure. But that may have had three or four levels there. Not sure. There's quite a bit of waste rock there, now that I get to looking at it. That's all waste rock there. That'd be a cool one to go down into because you know nobody's probably been in there for a while. Yeah, but take ropes or a ladder to get down in there. Let's see, we'll walk around here. I'd say this is really old because the workings have trees that are <laughs> old, stuck in them. <laughs> so, I think when I looked it up, it was like 1875 was the uh, date on it. We'll walk around the edge of this. You can see there's some 
little digging pits here. There's a mine on that. Never. And that's the views you get. <clears throat> and I'm probably missing things as I'm saying that. Because there may be more stuff that I'm going to check this ravine. I just have this feeling there's a lower level to this thing because the fact that there is a shaft that come out but I don't I'm not seeing anything over here in the ground. trash and we're probably standing on top of a piece of the mine because yeah let's see all right this is probably a vent tube and it sounded like there was water in there might be a weld casey who knows? Okay. Old coffee can. Looks like paint cans or something. Might be old carbide cans. To say, okay. Well, I think I'm going to start heading back to the truck, do a walk around on this side, and uh, see if we find anything else.
Oh, I gotta take a breather. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Don't have to worry about rattlesnakes. It's too cold. Alright. Alright, you guys go. We're back on the soup truck. <sighs> <sighs>